the governor was concerned that there was going to be uh, violence in Little Rock and that he was uh, considering uh, uh, preventing us from going to, to Central. Um, it wasn't until the day that school was to open that he called in the Arkansas National Guard and used them to bar our entrance. And at that point, you then had this huge constitutional crisis that the state of Arkansas was going to defy uh, the federal government's order to desegregate the schools. And I was left out in the middle of all this. Alex of news cameras and photographers and reporters, um, and then the um, Arkansas National Guard with rifles and bayonets. And um, as we attempt to cross the, the line of soldiers, uh, they uh, physically um, uh, cross their, their rifles. Uh, they allow the white students to enter and bar us physically from uh, entering Central High School. The first few weeks, we had individual soldiers that uh, waited outside the classroom and escorted us from class to class. So yeah, I mean, you felt very safe and you felt that uh, this was going to be something that was going to keep the mob and the resistors and the segregationists, the White Citizens Council, all of these uh, at a very long arm's length. I remember them being very efficient. Uh, I feel, felt very protected and uh, thought they did a terrific job and I'm forever indebted to the 101st uh, Airborne Division of the United States Army. I saw this as, as partly, uh, I guess, the price you had to pay, but it was worth paying, and that what we were going to do was to prepare something for somebody else besides ourselves. It turns out that at the graduation, sitting with my family was Dr. King, and I didn't know until after the ceremony and had a chance to meet him uh, that he was in attendance. So, that was a very special touch. I would hope that the reason that you're having this recognition of what we did is to try to celebrate going forward, not looking back. Uh, that many of these southern communities, uh, the changes are, have gone on a lot faster than some people are willing to accept, maybe. But my view. 50 years ago was the reason I wanted to go to that school was to try to create uh, additional educational options for myself. And that uh, uh, this is a world in which you can't restrict. You got to be willing to let people expand. So I hope that the reason you want to raise up this 50th anniversary of our going to school is that you want to show what the past was and be able to prove that you can go forward with it being a better picture than uh, what we experienced in 57.